The waltz is a little different than many other dances. Most of the dancers are a four-quarter beat, meaning we got four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. In waltz, it's slightly different. There's only three. So really, in theory, waltz should be easier because you only have to count till three. So, how are we going to count this? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. The routine that we're about to teach you is more or less all one, two, three. There's two or three parts where it's a little different, but we'll explain that later. Before we're going to go into the steps, I'm going to actually explain a little bit more about that hold. You've already learned that in Foxtrot, but I want to show you a little bit more of the formal ballroom dance hold. The right hand of the guy is going on the shoulder blade of the lady, and the elbows are pretty much up. The lady will have her left hand a little bit on the shoulder and just rests lightly. Don't do it too heavy because the guys are not the carriers. The left hand from the guy is holding the right hand of the lady and again the elbows are pretty much up. Now as you can see there's quite a lot of space between Irina and myself but that cannot happen while you dance. You need to make sure you're closed. This is a little bit more of an official ballroom dance hold. When you go social dancing, you can choose to do this, but I strongly advise you to stay closer. Who cares? You're not being judged. We don't have Bruno, Len, or Carrie Ann. The audience doesn't judge. You're just doing this for yourself. So you can either be here or here. There is no right or wrong. One of the big New Year's resolutions every year is to get yourself back in shape. Maybe Louis Van Amstel can help. The Dancing with the Stars Pro wants to teach you how to dance. And he says if you truly want to learn, it's easy. I'm Louis. Let's dance. Professional dancer Louis Van Amstel believes if you really want to learn how to ballroom dance, your will will get you there easier than you think. To help, he's come out with a series of eight DVDs, one per dance, to get your body in motion. Louis one, says some two, people learn three, the basics four, in a matter of five, minutes, six, but to seven, be sure... Eight. I think if you do this for a weekend, because lots of people work nine to five, mm -hmm. so in the weekend, at home, the weekend is the time. So if you spend five weekends on it, you're fine. So if you can let go, just watch the TV screen and do with us, you're fine. Louis' aim is to help you learn how to foxtrot, maybe do the waltz. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. How about the cha-cha, even the jive? It was a lot of fun doing it because being in this business for 25 years, you go to dance studios, they all do the basic steps or they do really difficult steps. And I decided I'm going to make a combination of basic steps, but also stuff that I've done with Lisa, or that I've done with Monique, or with Tristan in the first, first uh, season. The cha-cha is the best dance to get a core like no tomorrow. Louis' latest job is choreographer of the Dancing with the Stars live tour. With his work, one thing he's noticed over the past couple of years, more men now taking these steps to learn how to dance especially after seeing some male celebrities on the show do it. I would say it's clo slowly getting to 50-50 where men want to dance with their wives because I think those men on the show, re they show that it's not that difficult to do. All right, now as for Dancing with the Stars, the professional dancers don't know yet if they'll be back, but it is possible you will see Louie on that dance floor again in March, and that would be March 17th, St. Patrick's Day to be exact, when Dancing with the Stars comes back.